What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. It's another beautiful day in the brand you sweet. Y'all know what it is. It's not hump day. It's work for it Wednesday. We put in that work. We put in that work on Wednesdays, man. I just got my walk in, got my walk in coach, uh, and I'm drinking my water. You know the goals, <laughs> drinking my water, uh, drinking my water this morning. Uh, but that's what we do. We do the work. If you're going to be, um, successful in any aspect of your life, you got to do the work. You got to be willing to put in the work. You got to be willing to do the work. You got to be um, accepting of the work. Uh, uh, Muhammad Ali used to say, uh, he has this quote where he hated, he hated to have, he hated the the um, the training and the having to run. Um, but he also understood and knew, and he said that um, he knew that in order for him to be the champion, and be a champion for the rest of his life, he was going to have to do that work. Are you willing to do the work that you need to do in order to be able to unleash your entrepreneurial excellence in 2024? That's the question that you have to answer all year long. Are you willing to do the work that needs to be done to unleash your entrepreneurial excellence in 2024? And even beyond, it's it's not just, you know, 2024, of course, but beyond. What work are you willing to put in? What work are you willing to do? That's that's what we are after this year. That's, that's why we do what we do each and every day is so that we can unleash our entrepreneurial excellence um, into everything that we do, into those that we serve, into those that we work with and those that work for us. That's what we do. Y'all know what we've been doing uh, all week, what we've been doing this week. And last week, we've been dealing with the 10 attributes of a high-value brand. Do you have these 10 attributes? Do you have these 10 characteristics? Do you practice these 10 um, principles? Y'all know I get principles. These are things that you can use daily that we have to have with the, within us innately in order to be able to be successful. So um, we talked about having the clarity of purpose. We talked about the um, consistency across all your touch points. We talked about authenticity. We talked about emotional connection. Do you have the emotional connection? We, we talked about the uh, the innovation and adaptability. Are you always thinking something new. What can we do different? Um, uh, Because I remember Steve Jobs in the movie Jobs with Ashton Kircher, um, who Ashton Kircher plays Steve Jobs, and he says, you know, don't be better than the competition. He didn't seek to be better than the competition. He he sought to be different, to do, do it differently. Whatever what it was that that in the in the tech industry, it wasn't about being better than you. I'm going to be different than you because I'm going to do it in such a way that it's going to stand out from what everybody else is doing. So, do you have that 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 adaptability and that innovation? Um, you know, exceptional customer experience. Do you give an exceptional customer experience each and every time that you get someone who is a who is a customer or who is a client? Are you giving them the experience that will bring them back again and again and again? And yesterday we talked about quality and reliability. You know, do you have a quality product? Is is your product reliable? Is it going to perform each and every time? Is it going to do what it needs to do consistently? It's reliable. It's it's dependable. It's something that <coughs> that is going to perform uh, each and every time. 
And so today, I'm going to talk about, here's an attribute, and and, um, and you're going to have to think about this. Um, but, but what it is, is um, every brand, successful, high-value brand, has the ability to be able to ha- be an effective storytelling. It tells an effective story. And and storytelling is a powerful tool. Brands that can tell a compelling story, weaving in uh, your values, weaving in uh, and, and journey, your values and journey. It captures the attention and imagination of their audience. And I always talk about this. I always talk about uh, two stories I always remember. Um, and, and they were two commercials. And and they told a story. The, the first one, uh, good morning, Pamela. Thanks for tuning in. Um, they, they told a story. I remember the first time that I saw Tyrese Gibson, the singer Tyrese Gibson, on a commercial. He did the Coke, Coca-Cola commercial. And it was a young young man. He's got his headphones on. He gets he get, he's getting on the bus. He's in his own zone. He's in his own zone. He's having just a, a don't know what kind of day is day he's having, but from the commercial, you could tell the commercial was about this feeling. This it told a story about this young man who's having a great day. He he's going about his day. He's on the bus, and he's listening to his music, and he's vibing. And I remember saying, and he's got this big old smile. Y'all know that the, the, y'all ladies love the, the smile of Ty, Tyrese Gibson. But he has a smile. I'm like, man, that's a that was a cool commercial because it, it, it evoked in me a, a, a good feeling, a good vibe. And that's what, a, what's, that's what an effective story is with a brand will do for those that you are seeking to serve. It will be that compelling. It'll be that capturing to, 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 to you. So how capturing is the story that you want to tell with your, with your brand? Do you even have a, an effective story? What's the story behind your brand? What's the story that you want to tell? Behind your brand. that That's the homework today. I want you to think about your story. The story of your brand. What's the story behind your brand? Or is there a story? Why did you create. The, 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 the brand that you created. How did you create. The brand that you created. One of the things that. That I like about the. The, um, the history channel show. That I, I talk about all the time. The. The. Um, the engineers that built America, the toys that built America, the candy, the the food that built America, and uh, that series, that whole series, is there's a story behind each and every brand. When you go into the market today, tomorrow, whenever, you know, you you you're in the store and you see these aisles and aisles and aisles of food. Candy, whatever, whatever it is, or you go into a restaurant, or or you go to wherever you go into a Trader Joe's or, or something like that. You go into a Barnes and Noble. Excuse me, but when <clears throat> I want you to think and t- and think about it, there's a story behind each and every one of those brands. The story behind Holiday Inn. There's a story behind Holiday Inn that the the gentleman that created Holiday Inn, he wanted his he wanted his pet dog to be able to go on vacation with him. Hotels didn't accept dogs, so the story was I wanted to create something, a create a hotel where my dog could go in and go on vacation with us. As a consequence, when you go to a Holiday Inn, you can have your pet. Go with you. The the subway story, the story of Subway, the the rest the chain restaurant, the gentleman that started Subway got a, got a uh, was asked a simple question at a, at at one at his family um barbecue. 
friend of the family asked him, because he was getting ready to go to college, he asked him, well, what was he going to do, you know, and, and he didn't, you know, he didn't know, you know, he was trying to drum up some money <laughs> to be able to pay for, to pay for, um, you know, I think a certain aspect of, of college, and the family friend suggested that he make sandwiches, that he start a restaurant. He funded what is now Subway. So you, you never know what someone's story is, just like someone never knows what your story is. So are you telling your story? Does your brand tell a story? JNF Enterprises, the, the, the brand that, that we have, you know, it tells a story. It allows what I do, the products and services that I offer, put others in the position to be able to tell their story. That's what we do. We offer our entrepreneur kit. We offer, you know, our marketing uh, plans. We offer the branding strategies. Part of the branding strategy is telling your story. What's up, coach? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> but, but, but it tells a story. And and I'm sure, Coach, I'm sure you have a story behind. Well, I know you, you talked about it a little bit, the butterfly flat effect. And you starting that starting starting your business. What 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 story are you telling? How effective are you at telling that story too? You don't just want to say anything, you don't just put it out there anything. But you have to have an effective story that, like I said, it, it is compelling. It's a compelling story, but within that you talk about your journey. What's your journey been? Because everybody that's an entrepreneur has a journey. Every brand has a has a journey. And and being able to tell that gives you the ability to be able to capture um those that you that are, that you already serve because they'll be there and they'll they'll they know the story so they're willing to support the brand. But then you capture even more when you have that that ability to be, when people know what's the story behind the brain, it, it becomes something that they can relate to. Like I told you about Tyrese and, and the Coke commercial, getting on the bus with the headphones. And and and, and uh the the other one is the uh crest commercial. Young man again He's, he's, he's going about his day or whatever. He's, he, uh, he uses the crest toothpaste. His teeth are bright and shiny, you know, white and everything. And he gets, uh, this young lady that is just, is looking at him with these bright white teeth. And, and he, it, it garners him the attention that he wants. So <laughs> I'm looking at that and that tells a story to me. Hey. If I can use crushed toothpaste, I have bright, whiter teeth. I'll, I'll have this people paying attention to me. You know, those kinds of things. So what, what story is your brand telling? Or what story do you want your brand to tell today? Do you, do you have one? Are you able to... If you were to speak with someone, you know, you're at an event, you're networking and, and, um, you know, people, they, 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 you know, they ask the, the general question, what is it that you do? But in what you do, you, you have this story about the brand that you created because you wanted to be able to have this kind of impact in the world. I know, Coach. You you are you are, are always talking about the impact that you want to have on people's health. That's your brand story, and and you you live that that story each and every day when you work with those that you serve. Same thing with 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 me. Same thing I'm showing with with Pamela. Having. Having a story behind why you do what you do, why you offer, why you created the brand that you have is going to separate you 
from 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 the others because not everybody has a, a, a an effective story or are an effective storyteller. You can have a great story, but you not if you're not have if you're not effective at at telling that story, it's not going to capture. You know, it's not going to capture the attention and imagination of the audience that you're trying to catch. So today, think about think about your brand story. High level brands have a story to tell. Question is, what story are you telling with your brand, or what what story is your brand telling others? I want you to think about that today. It's work for it, work for it, work for it Wednesday. I'm saying every day but Wednesday. <laughs> work for it Wednesday. So I want you to work on your brand story. What's your brand story? What's what's the story behind the the the, the greatness that you created in the brand? So that when you talk about it or others may even talk about it because you want to get others to talk about it, your brand and you want them to yeah I, I got this you know I got this great product today or I I, I, I hired this this new coach uh, Walter Sellers and and he is just absolutely do you know that butterfly it's called his company is called butterfly the butterfly effect and and he called it he started it because of this and he said that that you know the story behind that he he it was absolutely awesome what's your story what what's your brand story yeah we we in the brand you sweet y'all so we've got to tell our brand story be be effective in it too put take take some time to think about it you know, to think about, think about what it is that you, that you want to say about your brand. Be intentional about it. Be purposeful about it so that people, they be like, oh man, they, they really got their, got their stuff together. They really know what it is that makes them who they are. But I want you at the end of the day, I want you to tell your story. But tell it in such a way. That it that it is compelling, that it is it speaks to the journey that your brand is on, and 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 it is it 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 brings people it garners the attention of those that uh, will become those that you serve, and and that's what it's about. You want people to, you know, to when they think about your 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 brand. If you're an author, you want them when they think about your book, they pick that book up. They know the story behind the book. They know the story behind why you became a writer. And, and I and I have a um um I partner with uh, the National Black Unity News newspaper, and one of the things that we um, that I do with the author showcase that's in the newspaper is when I'm talking with the authors and we do the interview. What's up, Dwight? Um, when we do the interview, it's always and I and I tell them, but I tell the audience too. It's the the, the author showcase is more than just about the book, the author's book. That I, I want the audience when they're listening to us to know. That there's a story behind the book. There's more to the author than just the book. And allowing them to be able to tell their story as they as they're able to do. And in the in in the the conversation, because I don't do interviews, I do conversations. In the conversation, we take the the listening audience on a journey, just like the authors take the the reader on a journey. About them, about their brand. That, that's that's what we're doing as a as a uh, high value brand. You're, you're taking those that you serve on a journey. Each and every time we talked about the experience, the the um, yesterday exceptional customer experience. Well, part of that exceptional customer experience is telling them a story. 
giving them a reason why they can relate to you, giving them a reason why your products and service is different than everybody else's. When you do that, you, you operate at that high brand, high value brand level. That's what it is. That's what we do. But you got to work for it. You got to work for it. You can't, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not something that just, you know, is going to happen. You got to be intentional about it. Be intentional about your story today. Tell somebody today the story of your brand, you know, and, and why you created or why you started the business that you started or why you're going to create the business that you are creating, that you're in the process process of creating. That's what high value brands do, y'all. Take a look at at what those those brands that you deem to be high value, and see if see what see what the story is behind them. I promise you, they have a they have an effective story. They have a, and they are effective storytelling and tellers about the brand. And, and actually, when when I worked for Marriott. They told the story, the Marriott, it's, it's literally the Marriott story. <laughs> and it's about the family and how the hotels came, the name and, and the hotels came to be who, who, what it is today. The Marriott way. They call it the Marriott way, but that's nothing more than the Marriott brand. Chick-fil-A has a story. All, every business should have a, a, a brand story. Check, I'm telling you, check out the History Channel. Check out the, the, the Titans that built America, the engineers that built America, the food that built America. There's a story. Every brand has a story. Do you have yours? I want you to work on that today. And and I want you to begin to tell that tell that story so that it garners people being able to know what's behind uh, your brand. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. We will be right back here. We're going to be finishing out this this week. We got uh, two more two more uh, attributes that we're going to be talking about, two more principles we're going to be talking about the rest of the week. Um, so you can tune in to, to get those, and then we're going to be on to something different. I, I told you next week I think I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about the um, the leadership. I'm going to talk about how that, are you a high-value leader? Are you a high-value leader? Because we talked about an entrepreneur. We talked about now we talked about a brand, but we want to talk about leader. Are you a high-value leader? And what those attributes, what those principles are of a high value leader. So, um, you know, the rest of this week, we'll talk about the, your community engagement as a high value brand. And we'll talk about the uh, having ethical and, and social responsibility as a brand. So, it's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great, phenomenal day. Peace. <laughs>